It's one of the most baffling questions in an already confounding mystery. Why didn't any emergency beacons on the missing plane send a distress signal? They're called emergency locator transmitters, ELTs, and a senior Malaysian aviation source tells CNN there were four of them on the plane. The emergency locator transmitter is a small radio transmitter that sends a signal that's detected by satellites in the event of an airplane crash. Signals sent by ELTs to satellites are then relayed to monitoring stations on the ground. The ELTs are not related to the pinger, the signal coming from the black boxes containing the flight recorders. These beacons are designed to be activated if they sense extreme deceleration or by impact. Those are circumstances which could have played out with Flight 370. But experts say there are other possible scenarios with the missing plane where the ELTs would not have worked. If the plane crashes with too much velocity into the surface so that the, the entire plane is disintegrated. Um, also, if the plane lands gently enough, for instance, in the case of uh, Captain Sullenberger and the Miracle on the Hudson, the plane set down gently enough that there wasn't sufficient G-force to activate the ELTs. Other reasons why those beacons wouldn't have worked? A crash could have broken the ELT's antennas. Also, there's a time lag after impact. It takes 50 seconds for the first signal to be transmitted. Even after it hits the water, it has to stay afloat for more than 50 seconds or they won't, they won't sound either. So even two ELTs placed near the plane's life rafts and triggered by contact with salt water might be useless. That's because ELTs don't work underwater. Once these things become submerged, the radio signal is no longer able to reach the satellite. 